Well, switching gears here and checking in on the world of crypto. As more and more firms file for bankruptcy, our next guest says he's ready to help those financially distressed crypto companies get back into the fray. And joining us now, we've got Justin Sun, Tron founder and ambassador of Granada to the World Trade Organization, as well as Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith joining in on the chat. Justin, thanks so much for taking the time here with us today. First and foremost, when we think about helping out and what that looks like for some of the other distressed crypto platforms and operations, what does that look like from your perspective? First of all, I think uh, recent um, crypto downturn uh, really um, destroy lots of the balance sheet of uh, crypto enterprise. I think one of the biggest reason uh, is because all the platform uh, use a very big leverage in their daily operation. So that's why uh, when Bitcoin Ethereum goes down, for example, 20, like 30%, for those companies has used a very large leverage, it probably means even uh, 50, even 70% down. So lots of the uh, assets got liquidated. Um, that's why we have seen um, even like big companies with $10 billion in their balance sheet, even get liquidated in a very short period of time. Uh, probably like around uh, two to three weeks, just like what happened in the financial crisis. Justin, uh, I had to, I want to go back to May uh, when Tron yes. issued its algorithmic stablecoin USDD. Yes. Now, this is around the same time that uh, Terra's algorithmic stablecoin um, famously collapsed. And this is one of the major yes. events that sort of sparked the downtrend and the deleveraging we've seen across the crypto market. So I was curious, could you sort of explain uh, what's going on with USD? It has about a, a $700 million market cap at this point, and it looks like it, it had depegged and has uh, got back to that crucial $1 mark as of now. But, you know, what, what's sort of going to define whether this the value arc of this stablecoin is going to be any different than Terra? Yes, sure. Uh, USDD use... Uh, different mode compared to USD and Luna. Uh, I will see USDD is a hybrid mode. So first of all, we have over collateralized uh, stable coin reserve. So basically uh, right now uh, the reserve ratio is more than uh, 300%. Uh, I will say even more than 110% it will be quite safe for uh, USDD holders. In the reserve, uh, currently we have TRX, BTC, USDT, uh, USDC. So basically it's hybrid Bitcoin, uh, other cryptocurrency like TRX, and also um, USDC and USDT as a stable coin. So Tronda Reserve will gradually change those collateral ratio uh, depend on the market situation. Of course, I think back in May, um, the market seems to be uh, super um, panic. So that's why uh, even for uh, USDD, uh, we see um, it's over collateralized. Uh, that's why we also have, I think maximum has around uh, five to 7% deep uh, in the uh, market crisis. But uh, in a very short period of time, uh, the pack go back, I think because of the market uh, back to normal. Uh, I think that's the first thing. And the second thing, um, USDD has a very active uh, custodian uh, Tronda reserve, uh, which we use different uh, monetary policies uh, to maintain the USDD pack. Um, so basically when market uh, is in the downturn, uh, we will uh, buy USDD and buy crypto from the markets. Uh, and when market back to normal, uh, we will uh, issue more USDD and also uh, sell some of the crypto reserve in our um, Tronda reserve uh, to fiat to prepare for any market volatility. Uh, and also, um, I think the most important thing for Tronda Reserve is guaranteed the decentralization of USDD. One of the most important difference between USDD 
to USDC, USDT, all the regulatory stable coin uh, is USDT don't rely on any um, banking rail. So, so basically uh, we don't collect any users information. So you get uh, maximum uh, user privacy. Uh, at the same time, you can enjoy a decentralized blockchain infrastructure. Um, that's why we have a completely uh, decentralized, but also a safe mechanism to guarantee the, uh, the stable of the stable coin itself. Uh, different from Luna, Luna only have one mechanism to um, basically uh, um, protect the stable uh, of uh, UST. Uh, basically is uh, Luna uh, as a token itself, but it's very easy to fall into this, uh, that spiral. Uh, if the market feel uh, super panic um, in May, of course, I think the Luna and the UST price going down the same time. So we will see um, UST uh, will never go back to $1. At the same time, it's minting a limited amount of the Luna token, mm -hmm. which crushed um, the Luna to zero, uh, sure. as we see what happened in the market. Um, but USDD uh, is very strong because we back by all the different collateral, including all different kinds of the stable coin. Uh, in the Toronto Reserve, and uh, we grow in a very uh, healthy and organic way. Uh, I, I think which you can also see uh, our balance sheet. We have a very strong reserve, and also at the same time, uh, Tron Network has a very robust use case, which we process uh, over um, ten billion uh, U.S. dollar worth of stable coin Just every day. Uh, and, and the USDD is only a very small percentage of that. Justin, uh, I'd love to get your take on this. We had FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried on, on yesterday. Take a listen to what he told us about what he's been up to and love to get your reaction on the backside. A lot of these deals, a lot of these bails, we reached out to everyone we could in the industry and said, hey, do you want to come in this with us? Do you want to do it yourself? Like we'd love someone else to take this on. Um, and we don't want to be the only ones doing this. You know, we want this to be a broader you know, industry effort. Um, in the end, you know, the response we got from sort of other investors was basically, wait a minute, some of these companies look like they might have some financial troubles. Or so like, yes, that's correct. That's why they need help right now. Like, I don't know what you're expecting. Justin, so how, what do you feel, you know, how, what are your feelings or thoughts on, you know, one company starting to gain really a, a massive stronghold in the crypto industry? Is that a good thing or bad thing? Um, first of all, um, I fully respect uh, and also uh, fully respect the Sam's uh, offering help to uh, all of our industry and uh, entrepreneur uh, to build a blockchain industry. Um, but I also feel like uh, we need healthy competition. I think currently there is a lot of player in the crypto space um, trying to become a very help, helpful role for everybody in the space. I think we should collaborate together to uh, bring crypto back to uh, normal in these uh, difficult times. Tron founder and ambassador of Granada to the WTO, Justin Sun, good to see you and good to see you as well. Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith.